My name is Stephen Norsworthy, professional engineer, professional musician. I've invented a new device called PianoSense. And PianoSense is a special sensor, electronic sensor, that directly measures the motion of a string without it measuring the acoustics of the piano system. It just looks at the motion of the string directly so that it's not taking into account the unwanted interference that you'll get from the upper part of the piano, the upper partials, uh, the duplex system, or any of the other things that can cause a wrong information in the read of the electronic tuning device instead of the actual fundamental and partials of the string itself. And so I'm going to show you how this device can easily slide from note to note to note to note. It's on a special little sled, shall we call it. And the sled uses a magnet that will hold its position over a set of unisons. In this case, I'm going to use E flat. And you can see the electronic tuning device says that it lands right at 0.0, .0 cents. And in this case, the electronic tuning device is Pianoscope, but it could be CyberTune or Veritune, Piano Lab, Tune Lab, or any of the other devices that are known in the industry. The sensor goes, couples directly into a XLR cable, which goes into, in this case, an iRig Pre, which I ship with PianoSense. And the iRig Pre is a preamplifier and an A to D converter, a 24 bit A to D converter, and a USB output. And the USB output goes into either, in this case, it's an iPad, could be an iPhone. It's not necessarily limited to iOS. I suppose it could work with Android devices, it can work with a computer, anything that can read a USB and read it as though it is a microphone, when in actuality, it is not really a microphone. But the iRig Pre converts it into a microphone like sensing output, digital output. And so the advantage of PianoSense is that it's extremely steady. It works right down to zero hertz so that when you play the note, it goes, the indicator is extremely steady and it just stays there compared to uh, an ETD where the microphone output goes to a tuning device that's a spindle or uh, some other whatever the ETD interface is, that's steady and jerking and jimmying around quite a bit, and you don't really know how to read it or when to read it or what its accuracy is. In this case, it's giving you a steady accuracy of the fundamental and all its partials and telling you what that tuning offset is. And so I think you'll find that the device is uh, so much steadier and more accurate than a microphone that you're never going to want to use your microphone again with your ETD, and that's my hope. And I'm here to answer your questions and hopefully uh, help you in the purchase of a PanaSense product. Thank you.